All right, so the second video, we got the scroll compressor. This is the insides of one. Um, I failed to show in the first video. I guess this thing spins. But um, your eyes are as good as my eyes. I have just got through taking the bolts out. I had to I had to pretty much shear the top off. That way, it relieves the pressure. Um, it was too hard to get, and they have a special some special head. It's not Torx. It's not. I don't know what it is. Some special manufacturer head. So nobody. So nobody can get into it. But um. Got some kind of a, a bushing of sorts. I don't know what that's for, but uh, got four of those. So somehow there's, I guess, some movement. Maybe, maybe not. All right, so I'm gonna lift this thing off. There it is. The scroll. Ta-da! So yeah, there is movement. I imagine the movement looks like it is side to side movement. And if it's side to side, what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to go around and it's I guess uh, let's see it's going to come in from this side. It's going to the other one looks just like this, but it goes in the middle between all these. And the side side to side motions going to squeeze against this rail all the way in and build up pressure all the way to the center where you reach your highest pressure. That would be my best my best guess. I'm gonna take this thing off of the yeah there it is. Got a drive shaft and we have an offset uh, motor drive. That means it's it's not centered and looks like the seal was bad in here. All junk. Looks like a graphite seal was was bad. Wow! Look at that. What what a trip. What a trip. Nice idea. I guess that's. I don't know if that's similar to what fuel pumps use or or what. Same concept, I guess, just a different way of doing it. Well, that's as far as I'm going to take it apart. Dude, that those bolts were on there. <laughs> I couldn't get those with my hammer uh, torque remover. Couldn't get them with my arm bar. Couldn't get them with my... Yeah. Plus, I didn't have anything to really fit. So I tried my best, so I had to shear it off. Anyway, that's the inside of a scroll compressor. I've always wanted to see one. Never got to. Never got a chance to open one up. I still don't know why this thing spins. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, I have no. I have no clue why that spins. It has nothing to do with. There's no moving parts on this here. It's only on the top here. Crazy. Maybe I'll take that apart and see what's up with that. 